Hello everyone and welcome to my 28 video. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, watershed development, which is similar to my 26 video and, uh, you know, perhaps a uh, continuation of the previous video, which was on the catchment area calculation. Now you can see behind me, uh, there's a beautiful water body over here. Uh, it was not like this earlier. Um, I think we made this in 2018 and uh, there was no water over here. We excavated the soil here and then made this sort of embankment. And then the you know, water has uh, gradually filled up this place and you can see it has created a very nice um, water body along with good vegetation all around. Now, this uh, area here, we use it for our irrigation needs. And to pump the water here, we have a pump there in that uh, blue sort of shed there, as you can see. Now from there, it goes to four places, uh, three places for irrigation and one to our uh, gatekeeper's house. Now for powering the pump, we have a solar system over there uh, on top of the uh, small shed, which you can see over there. And uh, we have a battery and also inverter system. And uh, we also have a generator, a small generator, I think it's a 3 kV, 3 kV a uh, petrol uh, generator. Uh, in case when it's uh, not sunny and on heavy rains, we use that. So this one, like I mentioned, uh, we made in 2018. And uh, we have a very good catchment over here. You can see the tea bushes all around and the entire hill around here. So the catchment area over here will be around uh, almost, I think, 2.5 hectares. That's a good catchment area. And I think I'll just insert here a Google Map, a Google Earth uh, insert of the area here. We can now have a look of the area through Google Earth. And this is an image from 2017. So you can see there is no development over here. And if I forward this to 2018, then you can see the watershed is over here. And there's a nice water body here. Now, for the sake of uh, convenience, let me mark this as watershed number 2 and the four points as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Points number 1, 2 and 3 being the irrigation points as you can see they are all within the tea plantation and point number 4 is at the entrance which is the gatekeeper's residence. Now as in my previous video we can now measure the uh, catchment area of the watershed. So taking this point here from the embankment, we take it along the ridge like this and then now go down the ridge up to the embankment again and you can see that the area is coming to around uh, two and a half hectares as mentioned. So this is a very good catchment area and serves the purpose for the irrigation lines as well as the gatekeeper's house. Now, as you have seen, the, we pump the water to four different places. And as you can see below, we have the water body there and the pump in the blue shed. So water comes through the pipe there like that and then comes here. And over here, we have the valves. Now you can see we have one, two, three, four, four valves. And this is the incoming and these are the outgoing so we can easily control where to send the water so this is the easy system here like this and uh, you can also see the solar panels on the top of the shed uh, very conveniently placed just nearby the pump now if you come inside i will just show you now the power from the panels comes like this and then we have the inverter here and also batteries so these are four batteries so 12 into 4 is uh, 48 volts and uh, you can see here uh, i'm not very sure if you can see this is 3 kva uh yeah this is 3 kva and uh, 48 volts so this is the solar inverter here and for backup we also have a petrol generator this is also 3 kva so we use the system to pump the water and it's a very flexible system as you can see i hope you like this video and uh, do keep watching my videos thank you very much